University of Toronto's Gold Ring Center for High Performance Sport at St. George Campus is designed by Pat Cowell and AMGM Architects and built by Ellis Dunn in 2014. The exotic design of this facility starts by recognizing the primary needs. It must include a full program of regulation basketball and volleyball courts with lobbies, training, and sport medicine facilities. To achieve this goal, the facilities are stacked on top of them in a unique fashion. The uniqueness comes from the fact that the field has is placed below grade with some glazing on the top west elevation. Otherwise, the structure would have been too large to fit within the permissible zoning envelope. The east side trusses are exposed to the interior and transparent to the street through a cable-supported glazing. A system of six parallel truss sections run lengthwise across the building span 54 meters at each bay. The second and third floor, where offices and sport labs and fitness facilities are located, are suspended from a central 180-foot-long truss section. As a result, the fitness facility is integrated in four levels, which maximize the exposure to the outside view, which consequently relates, respects, and enhances the surrounding environment and not only enrich the human activity, but also advertises it to a passing by pedestrian. The US Embassy in London by Q and Timberlake Architects also have a unique approach to urban issues that have influenced the design. The new design is in contrast to the previous embassy building, which had a brutalistic structure. The new structure ensures its residents' safety by incorporating a small lake on one side and an elevated garden on the other side, which does establish boundaries without using borders. Honoring the English tradition of urban gardens and mimicking the traditional style of castle that used surrounding pools of water as a mean of protection, but instead of a castle-like stone structure, this building is transparent to the public to emphasize the notion of openness and democracy. The pure geometry of the cube is fragmented by a highly specialized ETFE facade that includes PV panels, is optimized to shade interiors from sun, and framing large open view portals to the outside. Even though the building stands out for its unique architecture compared to the site, it blends in perfectly for how it responds to its users' needs similar to the Gold Ring Center.